Right, okay, well this is the, the second um, part of our Raspberry Pi um, video. This is very quickly, we're going to use a mobile phone to identify the IP address that our Raspberry Pi is running on. Now we've got a Raspberry Pi running downstairs, um, it's on the same network. Um, it's, running the, it's running a media player basically at the moment, but we'll, we'll be able to identify it. So all you need is a simple um, iPhone or an Android um, device. Um, and then you're just going to load something you're going to find in um, in the App Store or, or Google Play, um, just an IP scanner. Okay. In my case, I'm using something called Thing. Um, I'll just show it to you now. Um, so that is uh, that's Thing. So when you start that program up, it'll start. There you go. Okay. It comes up with a nice little list of, of IP addresses, and what we're going to do is we're going to touch scan and what that will do is it will scan the network um, looking for, a, for an IP address. Okay so now it's giving you a nice little list and you can now scroll through and you can see there we've actually got a Raspberry Pi on um, dot five dot eleven. Okay and what we're going to do is we're going to write that number down and we're going to use that in Windows remote desktop. Okay so all you need to do is do a simple search in, in Windows for remote desktop, type in that number and a little yellow and white box will pop up asking you, do you want to carry on? You just say yes. And then there will be a black screen with a little um, uh, letterbox uh, shaped uh, pa uh, password ins insertion point. Just put in raspberry, put in pi, all lowercase is your um, username, and put in raspberry as your password. And that's it.